Generative AI is set to be at the heart of NLB's aim to transform the way that we learn and discover. Our three tech prototypes will be launched in the coming months to enhance user experiences with two rooted in generative AI technology. And for more, we're joined in the studio by Mr. Ng Cho Pong. He is CEO of the National Library Board. Mr. Ng, welcome. It's good to see you. Good evening. <laughs> We've had a lot of changes in what the public wants and expects from NLB over the years. Can you tell us something about how it has adapted to those changes? Sure. Um, well, broadly, right, uh, how we think about the transformation of uh, the public libraries uh, is articulated in the Libraries and Archives Blueprint 2025, which we fondly call Lab 25. Uh, and uh, underpinning this is really two broad strategies. And one is around channels and one is around content. Uh, so let me briefly talk about channels first. Right. So in channels, we think very hard about our physical facilities. Uh, we think while digital has grown tremendously and we've responded to that desire, right, physical facilities, our physical libraries continue to be very, very important. And we are focusing as we build every library, uh, not only uh, on transactions, transactions remain important, but we're focused equally, if not a bit more, on the experiences. What are the unique experiences that our patron can go uh, to read, learn, and discover in our physical facilities. And that's why when you look at the newly reopened Central Public Library, you see many features manifest in different ways. Uh, and I'll perhaps pick up on a couple of them just to illustrate this point. Uh, so one uh, is that in, in um, well, being in the heart of the Civic District, uh, we decided that uh, Central Public Library needs to have a section where it carries all things Singapore. And it, we decided that uh, it's not going to be limited just to Singapore literature, there is, of course, a comprehensive range of Singapore literature, but interspersed with that is, between that is an, is an exhibition uh, showcasing how, as Singaporeans, uh, we used to spend our leisure time. And we hope it, it will invoke some fond memories. Mm. Uh, similarly, I think for our children right, in, the, uh, in the library, we decided that we're not going to build just a standard uh, children's library. We're going to do it a bit different. So we, are built, we have built, uh, in collaboration with Sea Aquarium, the first marine biodiversity theme, uh, children's library. Uh, so you'll carry not just children's books and uh, spark the joy of learning, but it also actually helps to educate uh, our younger readers about the importance of sustainability uh, and preserving biodiversity. So these are just some examples of how we try to create a different experience in the physical facility. Yeah. Um, but we also think that it's not just important to make our physical facilities attractive and conducive to attract visitors, Right. But also we are increasingly bringing our physical uh, facilities or services out of the public libraries. So we have many nodes now uh, in uh, areas where the public generally are at. So we deliver now library services at public transport nodes uh, in the waiting room of healthcare institutions, for example. Right. Yeah. Well, so, um, uh Watching the, the, what we, that, that report by our colleague Marcus, uh, it showed the old library at Stamford Road. Now, mm. that's where I went as yes. a child. Mm. And it was a basic... It, it, when you talk about, oh, we need to spark learning, well, just going to the library was sparking learning. Mm. And we did not need any more than that to love reading mm. at that age. Mm. Is there a danger of you, all these different programs, learning, multimedia, that you lose sight of what library and learning ought to be for a mm. child? It's a, it's a fair question. Uh, and I would say that, uh, and this is relates to actually the content strategy that I was going to talk about uh, as part of our Lab 25, is that at the heart of our content strategy, con it continues to be around books. But increasingly, we acknowledge and we're responding to patrons' desire to consume content in different formats. Uh, we recognize that uh, these different formats uh, cater to their needs and we have been responding to that through things like uh, introducing uh, e-books. Uh, obviously, that's important for us. Audio books as well. That's, in fact, our fastest content uh, format. Yes. Right? Uh, and, and for this year, we're aiming to enhance, uh, we are going to introduce an enhanced package of e-resources uh, that will include not just uh, e-learning materials, Right. Uh, but also video streaming services. So more movement into the various different types of technology for the, for the library board uh, in 2024? Indeed, indeed. So there are a good number of technology prototypes that we have been working on. I think you see in the Central Public Library a generative AI-powered story gen. Right? Mm. Uh, but we are working on other technology prototypes as well. And the intent 
uh, it's really to spark that learning. Yeah. But it's always linked to reading and it's always linked to books. But it's coming from demand from, from readers as well, is that right? From, it is, from the public. it is, it is. So, it's, so it's, it's driven by that too. It's reflected, the change is reflected uh, in, in what's happening indeed, in indeed. the and, and we do measure how uh, our readers are responding to this. Uh, so let me give you, share with you one data point. Uh, so we do an annual reach survey. Uh, for which we survey thousands of Singaporeans to see how well uh, we are not well that we've served or benefited them. Uh, and last year, right, our survey showed that about eight in ten Singaporeans have used and benefited from our facilities, programs, and or services. Uh, so that's a very strong recovery back to and even exceeding pre-pandemic levels. So that's an encouraging sign for us because it means that our transformation has been well received yeah. and that we're making progress in the right direction. All right, final question here, and I'll, I'll keep keep it short. Uh, you're excited about a great deal. Uh, if you could just very quickly, what are you most excited about in this new Central Public Library? Well, I'm most excited about uh, the generative AI-powered uh, uh, story gen. Uh, that is an experiment for us. It's a prototype for us. Uh, what it enables is that it enables a user uh, to uh, give a twist to a well-known tale whether that's Little Red Riding Hood or something local like Attack of the Garfish, they can change the main characters, they can change the setting, they can change the genre, mm. they can even change how the story <laughs> ends. And they can not only read this new story, but they can enjoy the story in an immersive multimedia experience. Right. All right, I don't, I don't know why I wanted to change <laughs> the stories. Thanks a lot for coming in, Mr. Ng Chopong, CEO of the National Library Board. Thank you.